Please come out of there. We're gonna try this again. This time I'm gonna be able to use my phone. I'm using my phone to be able to see what I'm doing. So I don't have to be peeking over the edge. So we are really having a hard time trying to capture the kittens who are hiding behind our wall. Now, there's one. I've got them to come out, and they're coming out, and they're playing around, but they're, if I make any movements whatsoever, they're running back in. I do think they're getting a little bit braver each day, and so I don't mind them doing what they're doing, but what worries me is... They're getting up in there and they're playing and they're biting on stuff. You know, they're they're doing what kittens do, wrestling and whatnot. And I'm afraid they might end up biting through something electrical or something that has water to it. We don't want them to short anything out or hurt themselves. They need a proper place to play. They need a cat litter box. They need vaccinations. They need vet care. They need, you know, they need flea treatments. And so what we have to do, we can't just let them live behind the wall forever. We're going, on, we're going on two weeks now, and enough is enough. And I do have an idea. What I'm going to do is lean this uh, panel sideways, and I'm going to hide behind the bathroom here and be peeking. I'm going to use my phone to peek. When all the kittens are out, I'm gonna simply slide the panel back into place and hope that that will work. See, as of right now, all the kittens are out. But if I start moving that way, hold on a second. Nope, there goes a kitten right back in there again. So right now there are two kittens out. If I can put this panel like so, just enough to when the third kitten comes out, slide it. Please come out of there. I'm sitting so far away, they should come out without fear, and they're not. If they come out, I'm just gonna take my hand and slide this panel straight down to block off their access. Kitty, please come out of there. There's one kitty still under the bed. Now he could go back in if he wanted to, but I'm hoping that he won't. Come out. Oh, there he is. Now he's going back in. Now all three kittens are back behind the wall again. <laughs> Dang it. They're all back behind the wall. So what I'm gonna do is move their food bowl a little bit further away. Oh, there's one. I think that food and water is the best way to get them to come out. Maybe even dropping some kitty toys, some kitten toys around the ground would be great. If I can get them distracted with those kitten toys. All right, if it, they, I get those other two to go with him, Remember, there's one under the bed, there's one here at the food bowl, and there's still one behind the wall. I do not 
<laughs> they think it's the funniest thing and it's not. Okay, that's not working. I have an either. An, uh, I come up with a different idea. I'm gonna get some wet cat food. It has a whole lot better and more uh, aroma type smell to it. Set it out as bait and then take one of these big fluffy pillows and from the bed, when they come out, I will toss this in front of the door. Maybe that'll work. All right, so I've come out to the barn where I feed my cats and I've got me a Friskies, extra gravy and chunky. Uh, we don't normally feed them this. We've just been doing dry foods, but I, we're gonna try this over here for today and see if we can draw them out from behind the wall. Two of them out right there. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna hope that the wet food will really draw them out of there. Hi. We need to really draw them out. They can smell that surely. When they come out to get to it, they'll be able to see it right there. And then that's a small section I have right there. I'm gonna be sitting behind this. I'm gonna simply toss this large pillow right over the edge and trap them in. All right, I'm taking position. All right, now we wait. Now we just wait. Not for you. Oh. Put you up. All right, we're going to try this again. Here. Stop being a crybaby. Uh, we almost had that. All right, I'm back into position. We're gonna try this again. This time I'm gonna be able to use my phone. I'm using my phone to be able to see what I'm doing. 
so I don't have to be peeking over the edge. Biter and a scratcher too. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's we got two actually. I caught one, and I have a second one who's out. I gotta come here. All right, I'm just holding him behind his neck, and that's okay. That's where that's where Mama's carrying him at. All right. I need Jamie's help here. Babe, they got me good. You got me really good. You little wild kitties, huh? Little wild kitties. Ah! Ah! All right, I may have ruined my chance for today. I don't know if they're gonna come back out or not. I do have one kitten over here in the kennel. Hank, leave him or her alone. Man, I had a chance to have two. We're gonna get real quiet and see if we can get another one.
I don't know if it does us any good just to have one kitten. Um, I think we should probably try to keep them together. I hate to let one go. Babe, if I've caught one kitten and the other two are terrified now. Yeah. Let the third one I caught back out. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I'm gonna let you down. Ow. Okay. He's gone in the bathroom, but he will find his way back in. So it has been an hour and those kittens have not come back anywhere near the food. They've not come to peek over the edge. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to start all the way over from scratch and trying to slowly earn their trust again. Oh, we come so far. And now, well, and now we start over. We still have kittens living in our walls. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.